If you're looking to legally change your name, there's a couple ways of approaching this. One is through the divorce process, and another one is by filing a petition for a name change. But what does it mean to do that? And which approach is better and how long does it take? Or even better yet, can the court reject your request? And in this video, we're gonna answer all of those questions. Hi, I'm Sina Mohajer. I'm a family law attorney practicing in the greater Los Angeles County since 2012. I've been a contributing member of the Los Angeles County Bar Association, and I've been rated by super lawyers since 2019. One method of changing your name would be through the divorce process. In every petition for dissolution, there's an area where you can check off and request for the court to change your name, whether it's to go back to your maiden name or to go to any other name whatsoever. The process is very easy for that particular issue, as there's really no argument or proof that you need to provide to the court in order to get your request granted. It is almost always guaranteed that you're gonna get your request granted by the judge. But what happens if you're not in a divorce proceedings and you are requesting for the court to change your name, whether it's to match your gender identity or whether it's for any other reason whatsoever? That process is a little bit more lengthy. After filing your petition, you have to also publish your request in a newspaper of general circulation for a definitive amount of time before your court hearing. At the court hearing, your appearance might be needed or it might not where the court just grants your request. But there are certain factors that the court looks at. For example, what's the purpose or reason that you're asking for your name change? If you have any type of criminal convictions that you're trying to avoid, or if you're trying to avoid any type of debts that you owe, the court needs to inquire to ensure that you're not trying to commit any type of fraud or bad doing. The process after that, once the court grants it, you get your name change, you're done. No questions asked and you start your new life. If you have questions about the name change process or any other questions regarding name changes, feel free to give our office a call. I'll offer an initial consultation and we can discuss more in detail exactly what the purpose or what you're trying to achieve. And if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that way you're always notified about any new videos being released.